Joseph Staten gives a little bit of an insight on the gameplay experience of Halo Infinite, as well as Community Director Sketch shoots down some of the recent leaks that have been going around the internet talking about Halo Infinite. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So a couple of the most notable members at 343 actually went to Twitter a little bit on Friday, just kind of giving up a little bit of information about Halo Infinite. Now it's still rather vague and not super specific, but gives you an idea of what to expect, maybe a little bit for E3, as well what kind of gameplay we should have for Halo Infinite. As these two members, Joseph Satan and Sketch, are very busy people, they don't go to Twitter very often, but when they do, it does definitely leave a mark. So we definitely want to talk about that and share the information with you guys here on the channel. So if you guys want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe right here. So let's get right into the content. So first, let's talk about the sketch tweet that recently came around, talking about some of his feelings about we usually this time of year when it comes to game development, it gets pretty exciting. And also it seems like he shoots down some of the rumors when it comes to Halo Infinite. Actually, we did cover some leaked information from various sources claiming they have insider information about Halo Infinite. Though he doesn't directly shoot things down, but I think the more obvious ones, at least in my opinion, are pretty much shut down completely with this tweet. Let's go into it. On Twitter, Sketch tweets out, who is the community director, by the way, so one of the more prominent members at 343 says, I've always loved the E3 season and the energy across the industry from teams working hard to show off their latest creations and players excited to see what's next. I also really enjoyed the collective speculation and some good laughs from bogus insider source leaks and predictions. I'd agree with that as well. I do love this E3 season. It's kind of like almost the holiday season for us gamers here and it's just a very exciting time of the year for us gaming enthusiasts. And so I always love to have speculation and talk about different parts, read up on the different leaks if they're actually going to happen or not, which we do talk about on this channel. Which by the way, we will be doing a E3 watch party on the Sunday, June 13th at 10 a.m. on the Twitch channel. Link in the description down below. We hope you guys see all there. We'll be definitely doing some reaction and talking about Halo Infinite's presentation at E3, which seems to be very multiplayer focused. Now that second half of that tweet, talking about having some good laughs about some of the bogus insider information people are spreading around here, as we've had some recent information that we reported on from Colt Eastwood, who just put up a video dropping some pretty big information that he says is like, bro, trust me information, as well as Jeff Grubb on top of that. With the recent Colt Eastwood leaks, talking about how Infinite's gonna start off E3 for Xbox, how we're gonna see a small teaser for the campaign, and also how there's gonna be a big multiplayer reveal, how there's gonna be like a big, huge in Battlefield inspired like BTB 2.0 like mode, and how there's gonna be a demo available right after, and then the release is gonna be happening in September. We should broke that all down in a previous video, guys, if you wanna check that out. I do give credibility to some of these leaks, but also shoot down some of these as well, as I think the demo and the release date that he talked about are not gonna be truly accurate. I'd be shocked if this game releases in the September timeframe, as he mentions in that video. I'm, I'm like, like almost all but like 99% sure it's going to be in November. As we had Bonnie Ross point out that there's going to be an anniversary for Halo in 2021. We've had Steve Downs, the voice actor for Master Chief, say the game's going to re release in November. We had Verlin Roberts, who's going to be voicing a new character within Halo Infinite, also say the game's going to release in November. And just November would be a much more ideal time frame for the holiday season to get that, you know, holiday money and stuff like that. Plus having an extra two months of development time would be huge for a game like Halo Infinite. Also, as 343 released, least Halo 4 in November and then Halo 5 in late October. I just don't believe that. I think it might be confusing with the September time frame as maybe like the first flight that might happen for the public. That could be a thing. And the demo available after every event, meaning like, hey, sign up for the Halo Insider program to get a chance to play it early. So the main thing about these leaks is pointing out the trends, not the exact details of what they're talking about. And we heard about the huge Battlefield BTB 2.0 mode talked about from Clobril as well, as well as from Jeff Grubb talking about a large scale multiplayer mode to kind of be the new flashy thing that Halo Infinite's gonna have for its multiplayer suite. That kind of lines up with what other people are saying. So it's always a very important thing when you see leaks in the title, it's just a take it with a grain of salt, notice trends, don't get stuck on details. Next, we have a fun little example of gameplay elements within Halo Infinite's campaign from Joseph Staten himself. Joseph Staten just tweets this out on Friday saying, on Zeta Halo seconds ago, hanging on a cliff, Joseph counter snipes three jackals 
on legendary difficulty. That's awesome to hear as well. Joseph, ha ha, I'm the best. Joseph leaps onto the objective, not seeing two hunters hiding at the base of the cliff. Hunters, <laughs> you're not. Joseph dies laughing. Community member Hidden Xperia, which you guys all know his channel, please go subscribe to that guy. He's a legend right there. You counter sniped three legendary jackal snipers. Take the crown, King, you earned it. Which, if anyone has played Halo 2 on Legendary, you know exactly what we're talking about here. Joseph Sane says, Rocks and trees on the cliff for cover, plus smart use of equipment. Recharging health and shields equals victory, plus maybe one more spawn. So, not like a whole lot to report on. We do know that there were going to be difficulty levels within Halo Infinite's campaign, just like we've had traditional but just kind of cool just to share with you guys of what kind of gameplay experiences to expect when it comes to playing Halo Infinite's campaign as I do feel like this Halo game is going to put a much bigger emphasis on replayability for the campaign side of things I mean I've also seen some like bro trust me leaks saying that the campaign is going to be like 20 to 25 hours long which I doubt that but we'll have to wait and see but it's just kind of cool to know that you can have these kind of experiences while playing Halo Infinite it just sounds like a unique situation that we've never really experienced before it just seems so natural and organic organic and just like something that would catch a player off guard for the most part because most of the times when you're playing Halo's campaigns you know they kind of lead you down a path you know the certain sets like you never get really caught off guard by any kind of enemies that you don't expect to be there most of the times when I'm dying in Halo is because I jump too much into a situation I get overwhelmed rather than surprised so just something kind of fun to know about Halo Infinite's campaign experience so if you guys have been out of the loop for Halo for the last few days or so or missing any content from me recently check out the videos on the screen right here got a link to all my news and informational videos right there so thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it and i'll catch you all in the next one peace out